Yeah, just like the previous question I was asked, the last interview I granted, I know it's quite straightforward to know that I'm being invited to the Super Ego. It's a great opportunity calling the MPL4 player to represent in the team. I know that it's, it's a lot to do with me and it's going to boost up the league itself. Uh, with what you just asked, I know that uh, it's a great privilege for me to be here and I know I'm going to do my best and I'm supposed to do my best to make sure that I contend. Uh, you know, it's high standard here. Yeah, if, if you're not mentally tough, if you're not aggressive, if you're not committed, yeah, you cannot make it here. So it's, it's mentally tough to be here. Yeah, if I'm given an opportunity to, uh, to play for the Lesotho match, I know how important the game is and I know what I have to offer. I have to offer the best that will come out from me. I mean the very best. Because here in the uh, Super Ego, the standard is high and uh, you have to be mentally tough to contain and to meet up. So I'm ready for any game that comes my way. I just pray the coach will give me an opportunity to play and I also get what God gave me as a talent. Oh, oh, it's a tough start. Every player that comes up has a very tough beginning. And uh, my, my is not a different. I have a very tough beginning right from when I was in Anambra State. Started playing with uh, Anambra Pillars in the second division of Nigeria Premier League. Then I was opportune to play with uh, FC Denda, now the Pierre Remo Stars. Uh, then I moved on. I move on to Giwa FC. And from Giwa FC, I found myself in Enyimba. And for the past seasons that I've been playing, I've been in Enyimba and I've been able to win trophy. I win two league titles in Enyimba, won FA Cup. And it has been a glorious one for me. And I believe by this great opportunity given, me, given to me to come to the national team, I will use it rightly in order to exploit to the next level of my career. Mm, not really, you know, <laughs> growing up, when the nature of the family I come from, uh, it's not easy, and mom and dad can never support food, but they always tell you to go to school, that school is the best, and white rice school is good, but they never supported me playing, but are they, as you can see, things moving now, they're actually my backbone. Okay. Now. That should be a, a serious torture from my uncle. <laughs> yeah, that was a serious torture from my uncle. That uh, I'm not doing what my mom told me to be doing. That I leave the house, I go to training, I come back at night. What am I doing? And I'm not disciplined. It's, the beating was from my uncle. It was not a beating, it was a torture. It was terrible. Yeah, well, you say something about the spirit of a team. In Enyimba, I've been in Enyimba since 2015. And there's this certain character that the team possess, a character of dominance, a character of well, they, everything is possible for them to win. Uh, they're always aggressive and they go for whatever they want. So anybody is a team that will never say die. They always go out and try to maintain the name that the team has made and the best team in Nigeria. So anybody is a good team. Yeah. Um, about the Confederation Cup, uh, the group was made and everybody is saying that are you sure anybody is going to qualify because of the tough teams that are in, in the group? Well, I believe Inba can do well. I believe we can qualify in the group because last two seasons we got to the semi-final. So everybody should be expecting us to get to the final. And by God's grace, if we should put whatever we have together, work hard, get focused, get determined, we can get to the final.
Yeah, thank you for the question. I actually expected it from you. I, I have to be thankful for me being a professional footballer. And it is a great privilege for me to showcase my talents in the MPFL. And just like you said, it's not easy after playing football and you are not prepared for the end of your career. They say life after football is terrible if you didn't plan well. So uh, to me, I think after playing football, if I get the opportunity to go into business, you know I'm an evil boy, I can, I can probably say I can go into business. But if opportunity comes for me to go into football, being an administrator, being a manager of a team, being a coach, being whatever it takes to be into football, I will accept it. But I saw say that <clears throat> after football, I'm dreaming of going into business because, you know, I'm, I'm married, I have a family, I have a lot of responsibilities, I have things to do, so I need to get something doing after football. And it comes to the question you asked me about life after football. If it, on um, my own view, if it should be in my own view, I will, I will appreciate if the MPFL managers, like the LMC itself, can grant an opportunity for seminars to be held to players about life after football, where they can, what they can become after playing football so that they can start earlier. Because I, I can see a lot of MPFL players who are no longer playing. Some of them are not living right, you understand? Some of them are not living the life they are supposed to be living. Some people are regretting after playing football because they never laid a good platform. They never had a good plan after playing the football, what are they going into? So it will be a good opportunity and a good thing for our league if a seminar could be created for players, for them to know what to do and know how terrible it is. Life after football is terrible. That was what my coach Ikana, coach Ikana told me. He told me that I have to plan myself very well. I have to know what to do. I have to know how to invest my money. No matter how little it comes, I have to know how to invest them so that uh, there could be a better life for me after football. So I know that life is terrible after football. So we actually need to find solution for it so that after the game, most of us, even if we don't travel abroad, we can still make it here in Nigeria. But we have to do something to help footballers after their career. Yeah, I did that <laughs> the second day okay, when so I was in my life. What's up? Uh, you know, I, uh, I was surprised anyway. I never knew, uh, uh, you know, I never knew it's going to come up like that. And I was a kind of uh, surprise. Uh, I wasn't, uh, I felt nervous when they asked me to come and perform. But uh, I gave uh, a gospel music, the song I feel that I can give out very well because I come from a Christian background and that is the, the song I sang for them. Are you serious? Yep. Yeah. Just sing the song. Can I remember the song I sang for them? Let me think. Okay, yeah. The song was, you are a miracle worker. You are a miracle worker. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are a miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. That was the song I sang, Daddy. Thank you.